Say hello to the people of YouTube. Hi. Hello. We are currently getting ready to make another poop run and dump our tanks. But we are going to use a vehicle of our own. And this be that. Our 2010 Ford Expedition. Extra long. Limited. It's got a cool 216,000 miles on it. And we are moments away from finding out how it's going to react to having all this on the back of all that get out from under the truck dogs uh. silly dogs oh. scooter's so kind best part about this unit i don't need help backing up anymore Go check it out. Ow! Wow! It's magic! I guess so. <laughs> Hopefully it uh, does a lifty thing. Cause it's still on the ground. I know. Do you? Do you know? I do know. Oh, okay. All happened right now. Oh, that's not enough. You better pump up some more. <laughs> we gained a quarter of an inch. Oh, I hear trailer brakes. There it goes it's again. Trying. It's trying. Well, we are officially off of the ground. It's so gone. longer than a few minutes later we, are, we made it to penny park to the poop station check our suspension lights already on you can hear the timing chains extra loud with the load but other than those two things it pulled all right not too shabby we'll have to address the check air suspension light and timing chains obviously but right now we are currently dealing with the solid and the liquid waste. Then we get to go back and stuff it back in Scott's backyard. Probably potentially for the last time. Maybe one more time. I don't know. I can hear the echo coming from the porta potty from our shit going into the tank. Can you hear it? That's oh, so gross. A few moments later. I'm just gonna go ahead and call it. For a free tow rig, all things considered, not too bad. Not too bad at all. I'm barely touching the gas to to go anywhere. Cause it's got all the power and timing chain noise. But it pulls pretty good. Still no air suspension, but might just make that man well. But uh, yeah, I'd say first trial run is a success. No? Yeah? Yeah, I think so too. So to get you caught up to speed a little bit, after we hooked up the camper and went to 
pump the first time and heard how bad the timing chain noise was on the expedition, we went ahead, took it apart. I did manage to find one cracked chain guide, and I also managed to find uh, one tensioner that was not doing its job. Um, it was very easy to compress, whereas one I couldn't compress at all, and normally they shouldn't. You shouldn't be able to fully collapse it like that. So. Unfortunately, after doing all that, it's still got some 5, 4, or 3 valve noise, which, you know, 216,000 miles, we're going to do the right thing and put a little heavier weight oil in it and just run it. And, uh, yeah, we will uh, see how it fares out the next time we need to move this big old boat of a house. What are you doing? As long as you're not on the table, I don't care. But, uh, yeah.